Hi, it's Luke from Knightsbridge Estate Agents and Values, and I've got the pleasure of being joined by Jerry Lyons, the famous author, <laughs> to spot the different. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, baby. <laughs> um, but Jerry, thanks for coming along because this is a book that we've been distributing around to some of the local schools around Leicester, and it's been gratefully received. Uh, I think we distributed just just under ninety books to the local schools. What? What is the book all about? Right, so the book is about a little girl called Lucy. Yeah. Um, who finds that she doesn't fit in to school. And she has this, this little episode at school where somebody's uh, a boy's a bit mean to her. Yeah. So she starts questioning her, herself, does she fit in? Yeah. Um, and this kind of thing. And then she meets a, a little ladybird with one spot. Okay. Which is unusual because most ladybirds have a few spots. Yes. Um, and the ladybird is called Spot. Okay. And Spot shows her, they go on this little magical little journey where Spot introduces her to a range of other yeah. animals. That have all, uh, 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 they're all unique. Yeah. So for example, there's a dog um, that doesn't bark. Yeah. There's a flea that just won't jump. Yeah. People tell him to jump, he won't do it. Camel um, with one hump, I Camel think. with one yeah. hump, yeah. There's a flea that won't jump, a dog won't bark, yeah. and a, a hyena that wouldn't laugh. So <laughs> and I think there's about 15, yeah. uh, sorry, 12 animals in total. Yeah. And it gets to the point, and the, where we end is um, where she comes to realising, you know what? There's seven and a half billion people in the world. Yeah. Which is a huge amount when you think yeah. about it. But there's, and this is, this is incredible, and this is for adults as well. But yeah. There's only ever been, and probably only ever will be, one person exactly like you. Yeah. Which I think is a great thing. Yeah. You know, that uniqueness. Yeah. yeah. It's what makes us all interesting. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what kind of inspired you to, to create this book? Okay, so my daughter was six, she's seven now, Charlotte, and she came back from school one day, and they must have been talking about differences and diversity at school. Yeah. She said, well, what makes people different? Well, why is it okay to be different? And I tried to explain it to her, and I really sort of messed up my answer. I said, yeah. I'm not articulating this well. Um, so I sat down, and when I was a teenager I used to I was involved in rap music right okay so this started off as kind of like a rap, in my head I'm sort yeah. of rapping it even yeah. though it's, it's okay. a poem so it's yeah. it is a poem but it, it started off as a rap which yeah. I scaled down yeah uh, and I found myself I, I, I hope I've articulated the message a lot is that because you didn't want to go on camera having to perform it as a rap I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> always fancy I was Eminem before Eminem was Eminem <laughs> this is, we were talking mid 80s yeah. when I was involved in rap music um and it, and it was from there really to answering yeah. Charlotte's question and Spot, the character Spot came into it because my wife runs confidence classes for kids. She's okay. a drama, she okay. uses drama to teach confidence. Yeah. The wonderful thing, because you see these kids and they just blossom, it's brilliant, yes. so, so, so good. And she had this idea of a puppet, hand puppet yeah. of Spot, yeah. of a ladybird. Well, maybe I could use this hand puppet as an idea, a springboard to, to go into the story yeah. and tell the story uh, about Lucy. Um, and her adventures yeah. and where her and Spot go with it, sort of yeah. thing. So, yeah. Yeah, because ha having read the book, it is a book that, and you mentioned it earlier, both children and adults can read, and, yeah. and they will find it interesting. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so, because I wrote it, I thought, you, you know, it's like you, you've got children, you read books to them. Yeah. Some books you will read, and no yeah. disrespect to them, it's kind of like you're going through the motions yeah. and what was that book about? Yeah. No idea. And yeah. I've done that loads of times. So yeah. I wanted the book to be something where adults can think as well. Because we're yeah. all big kids at heart. Oh, of course we are. Do you yeah. know, like nobody yeah. truly grows up. Yeah. I don't, well, we hope not. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted it to be yeah. adults go, oh yeah, I, I get the message and I get, yeah. and the kids get the message. So everyone wins. So how's the book been received? Brilliantly. Yeah. Um, it's kind of, right. And I want to, I want this to go on camera because I want to give you guys your props as well from Knightsbridge Estates. Because I emailed you when all I had was an ele ele electronic version. Yes, yeah. Remember? So, yeah. so uh, sorry, I've got to mention Andy, the illustrator. Yes. Fantastic yeah. job. Yeah, so. Great, great you, guy. These aren't your drawing skills. No, in, in, no. In my, here. My, if I did a book, it'd be all stick <laughs> men and women, and the dog would look like a sort of mobile phone I mean, you, you, you can see just with the quality of the illustration, this is a proper book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we never cut any corners in no. the design, in the quality of the book. Um, so, no corners were cut. So the book, so I sent that email to you yeah. um, and sent it to four other people, yeah. estate agents, and you came back and said yeah. straight away, yeah, we'll have 90, yeah. which is great, 30 for each office if yeah. I'm right, 
So I'm thinking, right, yeah, I'm going to get this published then. Yeah. Because there was, there, was, um, there was a bit of a question mark, because it costs a lot of money to print a book. Yes. And, and to fund it. And yeah. So, so you guys supported it. Um, that's some people we know, like Sean Adams, yes. and Aaron Kirk, and, and, and lots of people really Kevin got Kevin from it. the Land of New Homes yeah, Network Yeah, good, good old well. Kev. Yeah. Um, and I, forgive me if I forget anyone that watches this video that has supported it, but they, they all played their part. So it was there. That was the key decision, because the next day I spoke to Wendy and I said, I'm going to commit to... And you've got to pay for books up front. Yeah. <laughs> There's no... There's no, no account. No. There's no accounts. So I thought, right, I've got to get the money to, to publish it. Um, so it was off the back of that, knowing that you guys were going to support it and all the other guys yeah. were going to support it, that we printed a thousand and they all sold out within five weeks. Wow. And that's not just the companies buying it and donating yeah. it to schools, which is great because we want to get the message out there. Yeah. It's, not, it's not about making money. You, yeah. There's no money in books no. unless you're J.K. Rowling yeah. or similar yeah. type, Stephen King type people. Yeah. We want to get the message out there to the kids that, you know what? First edition though this is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you get me to sign it, it'll be <laughs> worth more money in the long run. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, so, so we sold out, and that yeah. was in July. And then obviously you got summer holidays and that sort of thing. Yeah. And I've been busy with my day job yeah. as well. So the second print run came in on Friday. Okay. So that's back up and running. Um, and yeah, we're just delighted with the, the, the way it's yeah. been received. And I, I how's that made you feel with, with, with how popular and how successful this book's been? Well, it's, it's, it's great that it, it's sold so many so quickly, um, but it's little things like my local coffee shop where I live, they've supported it and they've sold it. And they've, right, sold, okay. they've sold about 40 copies, yeah. 30, 40 copies. But it was somebody that works there said that their little boy had been a bit bullied at school yeah. and he read that and felt better. Yeah. It's, well, I, it's okay to be me. Yeah. I'm not worry, I'm not gonna worry. Yeah. I do talk at school. Because even though it's a fun book, but it's got a serious message yeah. behind it. And the message it? is don't yeah. be afraid to be yourself. Yeah. So if you're a boy that likes ballet, go and do ballet. Yeah. If you're a girl that likes boxing, go yeah. and do boxing. Yeah. You know, and whatever you want to do, do it within reason, obviously. Yeah. Um and if I want kids to realise, you know what? It's all right being me. It's all right. Yeah. It's perfectly okay to be you. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know. Um, and that, that's probably the most important part. So the sales are great, um, but knowing that kids get it yeah. and they enjoy it, and big kids enjoy it as Fan well. Fantastic. So you've had a lot of support within the estate agency yeah. world to, yeah, that have been pu putting it out to yeah. local schools. And yeah. I know with the schools that we've donated it to, it's been really well, really, really well received. Yeah, um, and, and it's and it's gone into nurseries, it's gone into yeah. primary schools, mm -hmm. um, gone into kind of play groups yeah. uh, as well. Again, just trying to get that, trying to get that message across. Now I know that you've got a really special announcement, yes. haven't you? That, yes. That, that you've got to make. Yeah, big announcements, breaking news. Big announcements, breaking news. Do we do it now or do we keep them in suspense a little bit more? Like the East Enders drums that yeah. we we'll next week. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's make that announcement. Okay, so off the back of the first, uh, the success of the first print run. So I've recouped my costs. Yeah. So that's great. And it's like I said, it's not about making money. So I thought, I had a chat with Wendy, my partner, and said, I want to get this out to as many kids as possible. We decided, um, well, I decided, what we're going to do is if somebody just emails in and they want to see the book in an electronic format, yeah. we'll give it away. So okay. they can have it for free. Wow. Um, if they want to go ahead and buy the book, yeah. that's great. Yeah. But it's not essential. I don't want people to think, oh, I've downloaded the book, so I've got it. No. I want everyone to access the message. So all they've got to do is email us at hello at spottthedifferent.co.uk yeah. and we'll send them back a PDF of the book. Okay. Which once it's on an iPad or a tablet or yeah. PC, whatever, I'm not very technical, forgive yeah. me. Um, but they'll be able to read it to their kids. Yeah. So it's like, if the kids can't, if the parents can't afford it, no problem. You should, yeah. you, just, there's no problem. You're going to give them the, you're gonna give them the just, access just to it. Because yeah. I know you've had inquiries from outside of the UK, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, all over. We sold, uh, we sold loads in America. Yeah. Um, we sold Iceland the other day was a one yeah. came in. Brilliant. This is inquiry from Iceland. Yeah. Uh, Iceland yeah. was written in better English. And they had the, and they had the PDF and then yeah. they ordered ordered the they book. Ordered as the well. book. Yeah, so we yeah. sent it out. So that was and that sort of gave us the idea to well, let's put it out there. Yeah. It's not about money, it's about message. Yeah. We want the message to kids, young kids. Yeah. To, to, to embrace it and, and, and to how go with can it. if someone's watching this video how can they get involved so if they're an agent how can they get in touch okay. if they're a parent 
and want to see the book, yeah. Uh, yeah. want to order the book, or if they're a school, how can sure. they find out more? Okay. So let's deal with the parents first of all, or guardians, or grandparents, yeah. or aunties, uncles, whoever. Um, if they want an electronic version of the book, just email me at that address, that, yeah. hello at spotthedifferent.co.uk, and we'll, we'll send it to you. Yeah. No obligation, it's yours. Yeah. Do with it as you wish. Uh, estate agents can contact me um, directly if they, if they want to get like involved. Business. Any other like yeah to, yeah actually that's a really good point yeah. Luke because we've had a magazine company a good friend of mine Nick Allen runs a hyper local magazine they really supported the book yeah as did a couple of other non-specific like agents but it just seems because I work in a state agency been your kind my of contacts and they contact. they've really supported it so they can they can email me at the same address or they can find me on the internet if they do yeah. Jerry Lyons estate agent content they'll yes. they'll find me um, and the schools. Um, do more and more talks at the schools, which okay. is something I really enjoy as well. But if they if they get in touch via probably the spot the different spot email, the different. and um, there's a website as well that they can yeah go yeah there's a spot the a spot the different uk website that we yeah. put some put some money into, um, and that's where um, if they they will find out the story behind the story, yeah. they'll see some of Andy's early drawings. Um, for another video, we've got another bit of breaking well not breaking yeah. news, but for the next book yeah the next so book there's is a sequel. Yeah, there is, because yeah. there's characters in the book. So one of the pop, most popular characters seem to be the flea. Yeah. Which is ironic, because in the book, it's a big, <laughs> it's a tiny yeah. little thing. But Freddy the Flea yeah. is the next book, and that is, I've written it, yeah. but it needs a bit of refining. Okay. And that should be out probably early New Year. Wow. Yeah, early 2020. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, so it's, it's really good. And I just, like, once again, I just want to yeah. go on record and say about Knightsbridge Estate Agents and all the other guys. Yeah. Without your support, financial and motivational, because yeah. you know what it's like. You put an idea out into yeah. the world, you think, oh, yeah. how's it going to be received? Yeah. And your positive feedback and the positive feedback. Well, it's those people coming together to help give it that momentum to push it, it out. Was there, essential isn't it? Yeah. Because it could have been a project that just laid in a, yeah. you know, on my side it, of my yeah. desk. Went, never in saw a, the light. went in the top drawer and that never sort of saw thing. the light yeah. of day. But yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, and I'm so glad because it has got such an important message. And particularly, I know when whilst we're recording this, we've got anti-bullying week coming up yeah, soon. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. Because um, it is such a, a thing uh, within schools. We know it exists, mm -hmm. and 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 children are under so much pressure these yeah. days to feel like they've got to all be the same. And, yeah. And it's yeah. great. Yeah. The, the message that this book's putting across. So, yeah. thank you very much. So, if you do want any more information. Uh, get in touch with Jerry, uh, spottthedifferent.co.uk. Yep. 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 Uh, or hello at spottthedifferent.co.uk. Yeah, if they want the, the free ebook, yep. it's at hello at, at spottthedifferent. So, yeah. absolutely amazing. And we'll be back early next year to let everyone know about yes. version or episode Freddy two. Flea. Freddy yeah, the Flea. Fre Freddy the Flea's so, adventures. Yeah. But if you've not had a chance to look at it, it's, it's a great read. If you've got children, brilliant. But even adults will, will find it humorous as well. It's great. So, thanks for your time.